Hi students, a very good morning to you and a very happy Dashera to you all. So, in today's session, uh, as the name suggests, I am going to present you with some insights. All right. So, students, uh, what we have seen, uh, what you must have experienced also, that there are a lot of queries regarding the JE Advanced Examination. What kind of queries? Uh, queries such as, you know, from a student's perspective, um, I am a student. I, I'm just starting my J preparation. I'm in currently in 10th grade. I'm, I will be moving into the 11th grade. I'll be starting my J preparation and I want to know that exactly how much effort would be needed in terms of like, uh, for example, if I want to get uh, under 2000 rank, then what kind of marks should I will be, uh, sh uh, do I need to score in J advanced examination? If I want to get a 5000, under 5000 kind of rank, then how much marks do I need to score? Like this, so that is one kind of query. The other kind of query is that, is J advanced really a difficult examination as uh, you know as as uh, told by the people so that is another kind of question that the students ask okay then um, if i want to get uh, iit bombay okay uh, then uh, what is the minimum rank that i need to score or let's say i am not interested in iit bombay i am rather interested in computer science then what is the rank that i need to get so that i can get computer science in any of the iits all right so the, there are many other such questions that pop into an uh, you know JE aspirant's mind, uh, and during the course of preparation, they keep uh, they, they are they are troubled by these questions. And many times, to seek the answer to this question, you consult JE experts. All right, you consult uh, people who have been in the field of uh, JE teaching uh, for uh, you know for many years. You consult your teachers, and they do give you their opinion. But sometimes those opinions are not database they are based on their experience they are based on their prejudices their biases all right they are correct also sometimes they are not so correct also but uh, we would be more entrusting uh, to an opinion which is formed on the basis of data rather than the prejudice or the bias of a particular person so in this uh, session or rather i would call at in this series all right like uh, my plan is to actually you know, uh, address these questions every week. You know, every week we will probably pick one question to solve, to address, and we will form an opinion about that question on the basis of data, which brings me to the question that is that data available that can help us, you know, answer these questions that are just listed and many other such questions. Is the data available? So to answer that question, guys, the data is indeed available. Let me first show you that what kind of data is there and then probably you will be able to uh, you know trust me more so in today's session uh, what i am going to do i am going to show you the data that i will be relying upon to make the conclusions all right and in today's session the question that we are going to answer is that how much do i need to score in j advanced examination to get a uh, under 5000 rank or let's say under 2000 or under 10,000 rank. Let's pick these three numbers. All right, under 2000, under 5000, under 10,000. How many percentage of marks do I need to score in J advance to get a rank which is under 2000 or under 5000 or under 10,000? All right, so this is the question for today's session and we will answer this question on the basis of data. What kind of data? Let me show that to you. So guys, uh, uh, if you do a bit of Google search, if you do a bit of Google search, like you simply have to type, uh, you know, J reports, J advanced reports, and you will reach a place like this. All right. So this is J advanced, J E E A D V dot A C dot in slash reports dot HTML. So you see that there are, you know, files here from 2011 to 2024. All right. You can download these files. Let me demonstrate you how these files look and what kind of data do they contain. So uh, let me show you the file for 2024, which I have opened here. All right. So this is a file which contains, uh, you know, around 1200 pages and it contains a lot of information, a lot of information. Okay. Right now, the information that you see on the screen, what does that information tell you? It tells you that the common rank list, all right, rank one, uh, this year in 2024 like the latest edition of the JE advanced examination rank one came to a student who scored 355 marks okay 101 rank was secured by a person 
who scored 300 marks. 201 rank was secured by a person who scored 281 marks and so on. So this table tells you that uh, it, it gives you know in, in, in increments of 100 that uh, uh, if this was the rank then how much marks were scored. Okay, we have converted these marks into percentages for our analysis because it would be easy for us to talk in terms of percentage that how much percentage of marks we need to score. For example, if I want to know that in the latest year in 2024, uh, 2000 rank was obtained at how much marks? So 2000 rank was obtained at a marks of 207. Okay, at what rank, uh, at what marks 5000 rank was obtained? So 5000 was obtained for 172 and so on. So this is how you can read this table. Apart from this table, there is a lot of uh, useful information present in this uh, document. It's a 1200 page document and believe me, it can help you to answer many of the questions, especially given the fact that this kind of data is available for, you know, many previous years also. So we can actually make a trend and we can draw logical conclusions. But the data is so huge, so humongous that trying to you know, draw all the conclusions, you know, trying to draw many conclusions, trying to answer many questions in one session will actually confuse you. All right. That's why we have decided, we as a team, we have decided that instead of, you know, putting too many things in front of you in one session, we will pick one, one question that the students uh, want to answer to want to be answered. And every session we will try to answer one question. So today's question was, how much do I need to score to get a 2000, 5000 or 10,000 rank? So this is the data for 2024. Similarly, we have data from 2023. We have similar data again, very similar data. Uh, we have similar data for 2022. Okay. And we again have, we have similar data for 2021. All right. I'm not going into, you know, too much into past because obviously uh, the more you go into the past, the more irrelevant or dissociated that data may become with the present scenario. So we'll focus on the data that we have obtained from 2021, 2022, 2023 and 2024. All right. So my team has put all that data on a spreadsheet and then by putting on the spreadsheet, we calculated. Uh, so we have done a lot of research. I'll bring this research to you in, in subsequent session. All right. We have actually worked out how many difficult questions were there, how many easy questions and all those things. So we'll keep on presenting this data in front of you session by session. Okay, so coming back to the presentation. Okay, the question to address today is how much marks do I need to score 2000, 5000 or 10,000 rank? So guys, uh, what my team did, my team put uh, those marks, they converted into the percentages and we have put them here. So you see for a rank one in 2024, 93% of marks were scored. Like rank one was obtained at 93% of marks. Okay, 101 rank was obtained at 75% of the marks. Okay, 501 rank was obtained at 63.6% of marks. So, uh, we have to focus on, let's say, 2000. So, guys, um, I would want that if you are watching this session, then just don't watch it as if you are watching a movie. All right, I want you to pick up a piece of pen and paper and do some exercise with me. It will actually help you to retain the information that I'm sharing here. If you don't do this activity, what will happen? You will just watch the session and, uh, you know, after a point, you know, after two or three days, you will forget what we have did. But if you get involved, all right, by doing stuff with me, then you will remember the conclusions. So what I want you to do right now is very simple, actually. Uh, just a minute, guys. Uh, I want you to maintain a piece, uh, to keep uh, a paper ready with you and maintain a table on that. Like start making a table on that. Uh, what that table will contain? Uh, let's say 2024 data. Okay, for 2K rank, for 5K rank, for 10K rank. We'll mention the percentages here. Then 2023, then 2022, and then 2021. Okay. Let's all do this activity together. Okay, 2021. All right, so let's fill this and so that we have a clear view of how much percentage would be needed. We are not just relying on uh, one year data. So in 2024, for 2K data, we need around 50%. All right, let's just round off these numbers to integers. So 50% was needed. For 5K, 40, let's say 42% was needed. Let's round it off to the upper side. Okay. Uh, for 10,000 rank, 33% was needed in 2024. 
ओके नाउ इफ आई मूव टू ट्वेंटी डेटा ओके आई हैव टू गाइज प्लीज मेंटेन दिस ऑन अ पीस ऑफ पेपर बिकॉज टू स्विच द स्लाइड आई विल हैव टू एक्चुअली गेट रेड ऑफ दिस लाइक द मोमेंट आई स्विच नो नो इट इज नॉट देर ट्वेंटी थ्री डेटा या सो ट्वेंटी थ्री डेटा इज विजिबल ऑन द स्क्रीन नाउ सो फॉर टू थाउजेंड इट इज फिफ्टी थ्री ओके फॉर फाइव थाउजेंड रैंक इट इज फोर्टी थ्री ओके फॉर टेन थाउजेंड रैंक इट इज थर्टी फाइव अगेन गाइज दिस इज द डेटा दैट वी हैव पिक्ड फ्रॉम द जे रिपोर्ट सो नो बायसेज और राइट नो बायसेज ओके ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू दिस ईयर पेपर वॉज क्वाइट डिफिकल्ट एंड दैट विल बी यू नो विजिबल फ्रॉम द मार्क्स ऑल्सो सी टू थाउजेंड रैंक वॉज ऑप्टेन्ड एट अ मेयर फोर्टी वन परसेंट सी दिस टू थाउजेंड रैंक वॉज ऑप्टेन्ड एट अ मेयर फोर्टी वन परसेंट ओके देन फाइव थाउजेंड रैंक वॉज ऑप्टेन्ड एट थर्टी टू परसेंट ओके एंड देन टेन थाउजेंड रैंक वॉज ऑप्टेन्ड एट ट्वेंटी सिक्स Okay. Anyways, I was trying to change the color to blue. It wasn't happening. Twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. Two K rank was obtained at fifty two percentage. Fifty two. Okay. Then five K was obtained at forty uh, percent. Okay. And ten uh, K was obtained at thirty one percent. Okay. So. Uh, uh, yeah. Here I think it is visible. so if you check for 2k for 2000 rank you can take the average of this and in this also this is an anomaly the 22 2022 was an anomaly so from here you can check that approximately if you take the average of all these four it will probably come to around somewhere 49% all right but because this is an anomaly if we leave it out then the three years they tell us even if we don't leave out then the average that we get is around 49 if If we don't consider that, the average that we will get is probably fifty-two or something around that. So approximately fifty-one to fifty-two percent of the marks can get you an under two thousand rank, which is an absolutely phenomenal rank. It's an absolutely great rank, guys. All right, it can get you one of the good branches in a good IIT. Okay, so just fifty percent of the marks. You need to score just fifty percent in JEE Advanced. And think about this. When you think of this, fifty percent marks means. you can leave out those chapters which you find difficult for example if you ask me i find organic chemistry i found organic chemistry very difficult during my preparation day and uh, i did some calculation i calculated that organic chemistry constitutes only 11% of the entire syllabus of the entire syllabus not the chemistry syllabus it is one third of chemistry syllabus which is one third of the entire syllabus so it is around 1/9 of the entire syllabus that makes around 11% so even if i leave out the entire organic chemistry i'm just leaving out 11% of the syllabus i can still score 50% marks from the remaining 89% of the syllabus it's quite doable all right i managed to do that i got a rank of 1840 so i managed to do that all right so understand this that this insight can actually change your perspective it can change the way you look at iitj advanced examination and it can change the way um, you know uh, how you think or Uh, it can make you more confident so uh, now let's talk about 5000 rank so again if i take the average of these numbers all right this average comes around what uh, it comes around 39% it it is this, this average is around 39% again if you leave out this as the anomaly then the average will still be around 42% so around 41 to 42% marks if you score you are still getting an under 5000 rank which again is a very good rank all right so just 41 to 42% marks and if you just want to book a seat at iit you say that if i get under 10000 rank then i will be able to actually uh, get a seat at iit all right for that you just need to score somewhere around 33 per, 34% if you take the average of these all right so that average comes around 31% actually this particular 26 is pulling down the average but that was an anomaly that was an anomaly 2022 All right, so around thirty percent marks if you score, then you have a very good chance of getting somewhere around ten thousand rank, which will probably uh, you know guarantee a seat at IIT. So coming back to the question that how much marks do I need to get a sub two thousand or a sub five uh, thousand or a sub ten thousand rank? It's very simple, guys. Fifty percent, forty percent, around thirty one, thirty two percent. All right, very simple. If you get around fifty percent marks, you get a under two thousand rank. If you get around forty percent marks. you will get under 5000 rank near about 5000 rank if you get around 31 to 32 percent of marks you will get somewhere around 10000 uh, rank all right so that makes things look pretty simple i would say like because when we give examinations these are the kind of percentages that if we get in the exam 
we feel that our, our exam went pretty pretty bad like if i give a test and i score 44% in that test i will say that the test was horrible i did horrible in that paper because generally when we give exams in school the passing percentage is around 40 so scoring a 44% doesn't seem an achievement but guys it is an achievement if you talk about je advanced examination it is an achievement all right it can definitely get you somewhere between 2000 and 5000 kind of rank which will definitely guarantee you a seat at iit all right so with this insight uh, what is the conclusion that you guys need to remember from today's session guys the conclusion that i want you to remember is that with only 40% of the marks you can definitely get under 5000 rank all right remember this guys remember this with around 40% of the marks you can get a 5000 kind of rank which is actually very good all right so guys in today's session uh, i just wanted to address this question i i hope i have addressed this and i hope you will rely on the judgment because this judgment is devoid of any kind of prejudice or bias okay in the next session i'll bring another question that troubles the student and i will try to answer that question on the basis of the data that is available in the j reports shared by j committee uh, thank you students for watching the session i hope this was helpful for you i'll see you next week take care everyone and wish you a very happy dashera take care bye bye